This video segment will show you how to properly feed your plants and use your TDS meter. Often our customers get confused about how much nutrients to use. Well, this section should help clarify things. Your system came with moon dust, which is an all-in-one plant fertilizer, which is simple and effective plant nutrient for both vegetative and blooming stages. There are other formulas out there, but the one included covers all the bases, especially for beginners. Instead of purchasing over 10 products, Moon Dust combines the best of several well-tested plant additives and base nutrients for a well-balanced start-to-finish formula. You can use other nutrients if you so choose, but avoid heavy organics such as backwater, as they have a tendency to clog hydroponic systems. The tool to determine just how much nutrients to use is your TDS meter. This device lets you know how high the nutrient levels in your reservoir should be. It measures the nutrient levels in PPMs or parts per million. To begin, check the PPMs of your water. Purified water is best, and if you're using purified water, your starting PPM should be less than 20. If you're using tap water, the PPM must be below 250, or your water is too polluted to use on plants. If your tap water is not very clean, you may order one of our, one of our reverse osmosis water filters to clean out the plant toxins normally found in tap water, such as chlorine and fluoride. This feeding chart is a generalization for most vegetable type plants grown in a basic system. If you have one of our turnkey units, go by the plant height chart rather than the week of growth. In this way, if your plants are 10 inches tall in week 1 and you're starting with clones, jump to the PPM level for 10 inches tall rather than week 1. From seeds to 2 inches tall, you should use little to no nutrients. Once your plants hit 3 to 6 inches tall, you want the PPM to be between 300 to 500. When your plants hit 7 to 16 inches tall, you want to increase the nutrient levels to be between 600 and 1,000 ppm. Once your plants are taller than 17 inches, increase the ppm rating to be between uh, 1,200 to 1,600 ppm. Moon dust is an all-in-one formula you can use during both vegetative and flowering cycles. Instead of adding five or more products during your cycle, it combines the best of them for the uh, good balance of many worlds. It would take too long to describe all the components of moon dust and how they positively affect your plants. However, take our word for it, it's the best out there and by far the simplest. Your system should also include Bushmaster and Spray and Grow Foliar Spray. Bushmaster is used when switching from the vegetative to flowering stage. It basically helps slow down vertical growth and forces the plant to get thick and bushy. This can be very helpful when working with limited space and normally taller plant types. You can add Bushmaster at a rate of 1 quarter teaspoon to 5 gallons of water. It can be run for one week at this dose when switching to flowering to keep your plants shorter in general. Note that if you overuse Bushmaster, you may, up, may end up with finished plants at 15 inches tall instead of 40, so use sparingly and only as needed. Spraying grow is used as a foliar feeding spray to beef up plant yields and ensure green healthy leaves. Bushmaster can also be sprayed on the leaves in conjunction with spray and grow, but only if overgrowing becomes a major issue. If you believe your nutrient levels are fluctuating radically or may be causing some sort of problem, then follow these tips. Make sure your pH is between 6 and 7 or your plants may not be able to take in nutrients properly. Make sure your water level isn't changing drastically or the nutrients left in the reservoir may concentrate. For example, if I had 20 gallons of water and 10 gallons evaporated, the remaining water would have concentrated nutrients that may harm your plants. Be sure to completely empty your reservoir every three weeks or you may risk getting toxic buildup that could harm your plants. Also, make sure you're reading your TDS meter correctly. For example, if my tap water is 200 ppm and you want your plants to be growing at 500 ppm water, you need to adjust the overall ppm to compensate to 700 for your water's base pollutants. Make sure to balance your water's pH after checking nutrient levels or you may get false readings. If you're still having issues, you may need to calibrate your TDS meter and although it comes pre-calibrated, it can stray over time. Feeding your plants is very easy, and although we've given you a lot of information in this segment that may seem confusing, we simply want to give you as much information as possible. There's a lot of forgiveness when growing plants, and the information above are the most ideal settings. Don't get terribly concerned if you screw things up a bit, as it probably won't have a large overall bearing on your plant growth. Thanks for watching.